Hello, today I'm making a Bob Ross painting for someone's birthday. It's not my first time doing a Bob Ross painting. Here's one example, the first one I ever did. I did this with oil paints and I really love how it turned out. Look at the beautiful mountains, the water, the greenery and the stones. It looks... I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. And it worked exactly as it should have. This is the second one I painted. This I did with acrylics and I gave up halfway through. So the top half is kind of what Bob Ross was doing and the second half is where I got frustrated. <laughs> so I'm giving acrylics another shot and this time I'm covering the canvas with white paint. This in retrospect seems to have helped with the brightness of the painting. Usually my paintings turn out quite dark. I much prefer the lighter look. I must also mention that I didn't use all the colors that he used. So for example, he used phthalo blue for this uh, and I used sky blue because, you know, it's the sky, but I used the same for the water as well, but mixed with some crimson, red and black, I guess. So yeah, I did the crisscross thing and the blending in as much as I could. This part was not so bad. And then I started with the clouds, but unfortunately my white does not have the right consistency for this. It was a bit of a pain and the brush is also not the right brush. It doesn't look so bad now, just you wait until I get to the darker clouds. When I get to the dark clouds, oh my god, I got so frustrated. I started blending the way he does and ruined it. Then I had to redefine them add more white, add more color. At some point I just had to say, okay, this is it, it's fine, it's fine, let's move on or else I will not finish this painting. So now, as you can see, I moved on to water and it was kind of dark, it wasn't quite the color that I wanted it to be, so I kept adding different shades to it, different colors, and blended them on the canvas directly because it was just, it felt easier. And then I added this red and it looked bad, but I thought, okay, I will blend this. <laughs> and then I added black and I added more blue and I kept going like this for a while. This is what I eventually ended up with. I think it's pretty decent so far. And then I had to add some purple sand Lavender, I think he called it. This also made me question things, I suppose. I didn't know how the finished painting was supposed to look, so I kind of took some liberties, which maybe were not the best idea. I should have blended it more with the water. You'll see what I mean. Well, um, and then I started doing the waves. Again, the white, kind of bad consistency. And this tiny wave at the back didn't quite uh, work as I was hoping. Probably because I didn't have the right brush. It was supposed to have a lot of spikes. I'm not gonna lie, I spent way too long trying to refine this wave. After that I added a few more background waves and I liked doing these. And then he said I needed some yellow. And I really really had to trust the process because I was afraid I was gonna ruin everything. Surprisingly though, or maybe not so surprisingly, he actually obviously knows what he's doing. It added a lot of nice depth to the wave and it mixed a bit with the blue and turned into a bit of a green. It really looked like nice water. And I actually liked it so much that I wanted to add it to multiple waves instead of just the main one. Another sort of struggle that I had was with white foam because I didn't really do a one-to-one -one painting with his, so I had to decide where to put it. But you know, I really tried. And then I really had to add some dark, but mine was too dark, I felt like. But again, trust the process. Hopefully it will turn out nice. That's my only advice to anyone who follows a Bob Ross tutorial, is to trust the process, experience the joy of painting, make happy little mistakes. It's okay, really. So let's go ahead and define this wave a bit more. Then keep adding white, as much white as possible, to make some foam. 
and then add other silly little waves, why not? Even though they're not in the original painting. And then add more shadows, way too many shadows of course, because why do anything in moderation when you can do something in excess? And then do some more foam, it doesn't matter that you've done it already, just do some more, keep going, never stop. It's gonna get better, it's not gonna get worse, I promise. And while you're at it, why not add some more white to the other waves as well? Because this white is terrible. And now I'm finally doing something Bob Ross says to do, which is add some kind of veiny little waves. Let's go for it. And then add some sort of ripple effect, if possible. I say if possible because I had no idea what I was doing. This is honestly more freestyle inspired by Bob Ross than actually following a Bob Ross tutorial. But I guess I learned some techniques even though I stopped listening to him at some point. I've learned that you really need to be patient to be able to follow this kind of tutorial. In my experience, things always take longer than you expect them to take, just like with recipes. They say it's gonna take 30 minutes. Nah, -uh, it's at least gonna take an hour and 15 minutes. I guess that happens more when you don't really have experience, which I don't. And then I was supposed to start painting a rock, and I started off with a color that was too light, and I had to darken it. And then I added lighter and darker shades of brown to make it look prettier. I also felt like I needed to adjust the sand slash ground part while I was painting the rock. Then I had to start painting some water around the rock. And that confused me for a bit because I didn't realize the water was supposed to cover all of that ground. That's why I should have blended them better. I started adding more tiny ripply waves on the ground and then a few stones. The stones were also sticking out a bit too much, in my opinion. And then I just decided to call it a day and make something else for this birthday I mentioned at the beginning. While I do like this painting, I'm not sure this person would, so I'm keeping the painting. <laughs> and I'll see you next time when I make probably a still life of some sort, which I think I'm better at, actually. Or hopefully. <laughs>